Hey everybody, welcome back to the Driveway Engineer. Uh, today, I'm working on my fuel system for my Back to Basics 79C10. Um, what I have here is a sending unit for a 1987 Chevy truck. I tell you guys often when you ask, you know, how do I do my fuel system? Um, the simplest way is if you have something that was a factory available in your body with fuel injection is to buy a tank for that. So the 87 Chevy truck was available with throttle body, well it wasn't available, it had standard throttle body fuel injection. So it has this basket, that's what this big silver thing is that looks like a throwaway baking pan. Your fuel pump sits in that, okay, and your fuel pump sits in that little bucket and it's got little holes at the bottom for it to drain out, but the fuel can't slosh away from the pickup. What happens with a regular carb tank is there's nothing there and it can all slosh to one end of the tank or the other and then you'll, you know, you'll be like having a good time doing donuts like Wah! and it'll all run away and it'll cut out. Bah, 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 bah. So the best way to do it, if at all possible, is going to be with a factory fuel injected tank if you can't do that there's a tanks ink sump that does a very similar thing to what that is and you can get it at summit racing i'll link to it below um and then you know you could always just put a bottom sump on it or something but a sump in my opinion is almost mandatory there's people out there with inline pumps and stuff but if you're really making power and really moving fuel and you don't want to have half a tank of gas in your crap at all times, the factory fuel injected or, or some type of sump is the way to go. So anyway, um, on my factory pickup, I have my Chemso fuel pump, and I zip tied it here, and I'll take a little hose and make it up to the pickup. The plug on my factory sender isn't right, so I will solder the factor the chemso plug on here this has the ground and then the uh, wires off to the uh, power to the fuel pump already on it and it's already labeled so you can just wire it up the way you need to for the gauge one's for the gauge and one's for power to the fuel pump um, what I'm going to have to do is this middle line here is for evap the smaller one is for return the larger one is for feed so i found these little tube adapters that are like compression fittings and these are nos systems they're discontinued so i only paid a dollar fifty for these um dollar fifty each so you can get them on amazon i'll have a link to them below if they're still around but what i'll have to do is cut that off cut that flare off and then i'll show you how these go on so i'm going to cut these off and i will be back in a moment to show you how that goes so what you do here is you push your fitting down over your line and this is called a ferrule and that pushes over the top of your line I can't do it one-handed, but then this whole thing drops over the top and you tighten it up and then it should crush that ferrule around the line and make an airtight seal or a perfectly tight seal. So then you can just put your dash six or whatever. I'm using dash six line, but you can just throw that on there. So I will be back in a moment. So my fuel system my sending units all together so if i have to go downstairs and solder this together i'll do that off camera but my lines are on my adapters are on my pump is on my sock is on it's ready to go in the tank once i paint the tank the next thing that i'm going to do is put my russell adapters onto my fuel rails these are the part numbers I've mentioned them before, I've linked them before, I've listed them before, I've done a whole video on them before, so I'm just gonna cut away and come back when that's done. And that is that. 
there's some petroleum jelly on there because I had a minor mishap. I dropped the fitting and it's non-metallic, so I stuck some Vaseline on the screwdriver and reached down there and fished it out from under the intake. Um, for those of you who want to go to extreme lengths to get your PCM inside your cab or cabin or whatever, it's really not necessary. Um, I'm not going to get to painting the tank today. I'm going to go inside and hang out with my wife and my pets, but uh, I'm feeling pretty good about the progress we made here. I'll take this in and uh, wire it up, solder it up. It'll be ready to drop in. Um, I have to get my old fuel hoses. They don't make, they don't reproduce the filler neck for step sides as far as I know. So I'm going to have to reuse what I have. Um, but yeah, it's spring. My little peach tree is blooming. The birds are chirping and we're making progress. So really that's all I can tell you guys is, you know, do a little at a time every day. You'll get there. I'll get there. We'll all get there together. Um, thanks for watching. Be sure to check me out on Facebook at The Driveway Engineer. And we'll see you next time.